In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isPrint function in C. So the isPrint function is going to return true if the character it's passed as an argument is a printable character, where the printable characters include letters, digits, and symbols. The function is going to return false if the character it's passed as an argument is not a printable character. So the non-printable characters are also called control characters. They include characters like the backspace character, the new line character, and the null terminator character. Let's go over some examples of using the isPrint function. So up here, the first thing we'll do is include the ctype library where the isPrint function is defined. Then down here, we'll declare a car variable, c, and we'll assign to c the printable character, lowercase a. And then we'll use printf to output the character stored in c. So we'll have printf, and then c colon, and then in between single quote characters, we'll have percent %c to output a character, followed by a new line. We'll pass in c to output the character stored in c. Now we can call the isPrint function, and we'll pass it c. So if this character is printable, the function is going to return true, otherwise the function is going to return false. So if the function returns true, then we'll output here, character is printable, followed by a new line. Otherwise, we'll output character is not printable. So we'll have character is not printable, followed by a new line. So now if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here the character lowercase a. Now the character lowercase a occupies a printing position on the terminal here. We also get character is printable. That's because the character lowercase a is printable. Let's try a non-printable character now. So we'll pass in here the null terminator. So the null terminator backslash zero is a non-printable character. Let's try this. We'll save compile and run the program. Now notice the character does not occupy a printing position on the terminal here. We also now get character is not printable. So we could also pass the function a character that's part of a string. So for example, we could have here a car array s. And this car array could store the string line one and then new line, line two. Now each character in a car array like this is stored at an index. So for example, this first character here, uppercase L, is stored at the index 0. This next character, lowercase i, is stored at the index 1, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. So what we could do is pass the function one of the characters in the string. So we could pass it the character 1 at the index 5. We could have here s at the index 5. We'll also paste that here and here. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here the character 1 is printable. What if we passed it the character new line at the index 6? We'll try that. We'll have 6 and 6 and 6 here. And then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here character is not printable. And that's because the new line character is not printable. So more accurately, if the isPrint function is past a printable character, the function is going to return a non-zero integer, where in C, a non-zero integer is considered true. If the function is past a non-printable character, the function is going to return zero, where in C, zero is considered false. So this is how we can use the isPrint function in C to check if a character is printable or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.